Hello guys, welcome back. So uh, today we will start with the free ball diagram. So we'll start with free body diagrams. Okay. So um, we'll we'll take a simple example. All right. So let's say we have let's let's say this is a table and on the on the top of the table there is a box. Right. Or, the, or there's a block. So let's say this is block A, all right. And this block is resting on the table. Okay, it's not moving in any direction. Okay, and of course there's gravitational attraction, gravitational force acting on the table in this direction, right? So we are told to find the free body diagram of this block. So what do we do when we are asked to draw free body diagrams for? Well, well, a free body diagram of anything is just drawing all the forces acting on that particular block at that particular instance. That's a free body diagram of that body. For instance, let's say if this this block is now resting, it's not moving, right? So there is no. Let's let's start plotting the forces. The fourth force, of course, is the gravitational force acting on the body in the downward direction so what we do is we draw an arrow denoting the direction of that particular force and then after the, uh, besides this arrow we denote the force which force it is so we can denote it like this like f gravitational force fg okay it can be it can be written as mg um, it's it's just, it's for your convenience you you have to know oh, i mean what force are you denoting by this uh, by this um, notation Right. and now as you can see the block has been is being pulled by gravitational force in the downward direction right but the condition is the block is still not moving okay so here's the thing the block is being pulled by gravity in the downward direction still the block is not moving so there, there must be some opposite force that's that's countering the gravitational force right and that force is provided by of course the table the table is pushing the block in the upward direction, isn't it? So there's another force that that that, that is acted upon the block by the table. That force is normal force. So normal force can be denoted by a letter N, and as, as the normal force is acting on block A, we can just call it as an N A. Right? So that's the free body diagram of block A. So there are two. Fo there are only two forces. It's it's not moving in this direction. It's in any other direction, it's not moving. So there are just two forces acting uh, on on the block, and th those two forces, of course, are going to be equal and opposite because we know that the block is not moving in this direction. So they, these two forces have to cancel each other. So that's the basic free body diagrams. All right. So we can just draw another diagram. Let's say uh, let's say there is. There's an inclined plane, right? And there is a block on the inclined plane. Okay, this block, and the block, let's say, is uh, is not moving. Okay, so draw the free body diagrams. Now, as 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 the uh, the block is not moving, but the plane is inclined, so the block is actually supposed to move in this direction, right? But it's not moving, so there must be a frictional force acting in this opposite direction that's countering the gravity, isn't it? Otherwise, the block would move. See, if if the if this surface was smooth, right, they wouldn't have. Let's say, let's just consider this surface as a glass surface, right? Or surface with you know some lubricant on it so the, the block will start moving in this direction because the gravity is going to pull it in this particular direction but it doesn't move in in this case because there's a friction force acting in the opposite direction so there's a friction force friction force okay frictional force okay so let's start by gravity okay so the gravitational force is acting in the in this direction downwards Alright, so FG is in the downward direction. Okay, now normal force. The normal force 
as the, as the word normal suggests, normal is always perpendicular to the surface. So normal force is always going to be perpendicular to this surface. It's always going to be perpendicular. Same thing over here. The surface, the surface that is exerting the normal force is this inclined plane, right? So it's going to be normal to that. I'm sorry. It's going to be normal to that inclined plane. So this is going to be normal. So the, the force, the mm, normal force is uh, image destroyed with a different color and it's going to be perpendicular it's going to be perpendicular to the surface so it's, let's say the block is uh, block P so it's going to be NB so two forces till now the normal force and the gravitational force now as we discussed there's this third force that opposes the motion of the block so the block is tending to move in this particular direction but it does not because there's a frictional force in the opposite direction right so the frictional force is in this direction so the frictional force f let's say um, let's just generate by letter f so frictional force is f so these are the two these are the three forces acting on uh, this particular block so that's that's so that's how we draw the free board diagrams that's the basic of free board diagrams in the in the next video we'll do a couple of examples on free board diagrams some complicated examples somewhat and then we'll uh, proceed to the equilibrium of forces all right so i'll see you guys in the next video take care